Howdy folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. So I just got home from Florida, and right now I'm in the process of going through all of my fishing stuff, getting it organized. It's all extremely unorganized, and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm sorting out my saltwater gear right now, and deciding what it is that I'm going to continue to use here in western New York, and what it is I'm not going to use, and I'm just going to put in a storage bin in case I ever live near the coast again. Uh, or, or visit Florida. We'll definitely be back to Florida. We're definitely gonna be after, you know, snook and redfish and all that good stuff again. In any event, this video, I just wanted to share some of the things that I learned while I was in Florida in terms of the lures that I think are going to work extremely good here in Western New York that I had never seen or heard of before. And uh, I, I'm just incredibly excited to share these lures with you guys. And I'm incredibly excited to, uh, to get out on the water here in Western New York and, and put some of the saltwater gear to the test in freshwater. Alrighty, so here are some of the lures that I am incredibly excited to use here in Western New York that I discovered in Florida. And all these lures that you see here, these are in the saltwater section. These are saltwater lures, but I am incredibly excited to throw these in freshwater here in Western New York. The main revolution for me is definitely going to be these cal lures or kale. I call them kale and my friends in Florida make fun of me. I uh, get that Western New York A in there, but um, cal, cal, cal. I, I, I gotta say kale. I got that Western New York A accent. I apologize for that. I know kale is lettuce, but um, in any event, these things are lettuce. I'm telling you, these things are awesome. They are great for all sorts of saltwater fish. I mean, everything from um, flounders to snook to small tarpon, redfish, everything hit these things. Sea trout, everything hits these things in saltwater. I guess saltwater bait fish look like this. I don't know. I found that the plain white color was the most effective, but I'm definitely most excited for um, these black and uh, and white ones here in Western New York. And these ones actually glow in the dark a little bit as well. I believe these ones here don't glow, um, but they look just the same. And I'm incredibly excited to use these. Check them out. Look at these things. I mean, nothing mimics a dace better than this. This looks exactly like a dace. Dace are one of like the primary um, bait fish in all of the streams here in western New York. Uh, I mean, I, I honestly think trout and everything's going to hit these, but I'm definitely most excited for smallmouth and walleye. I think these things are going to be deadly for smallmouth and walleye. Clearly, I really, really stocked up <laughs> before I left Florida. I've got bags and bags of these things just because I know that they're going to be killer. I've got bags and bags of the white ones too. Again, I, I just know that these things are going to be killer here. And you can see they've got all different colors. There's a whole multitude of different colors. There's different brands that make them too. DOA are the, the main ones, but um, other brands make things that are very, 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 very similar. Uh, like these is saltwater assassin basically, you know the same 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 lure and so you can get a, a, a Variety of colors even besides just the ones that DOA makes look at these ones I'm, I'm excited for these ones too. I'm excited for these red ones as well uh, Chubbs and spawning color look just like that. I, I'm telling you these things are going to be killer here I think I don't know you don't know till you try them But right now I'm very very excited to use these uh, cow swim baits uh, the hooks are the other revolution. So they come with these hooks, and the great thing about these things, uh, let's, you can see there's different brands of hooks. They're all sort of the same. Um, again, I, I sort of stocked up on them before I left. And they come in a variety of colors, too. Uh, of course, I let these ones get salt water on them in my kayak, and I never rinsed them off. Don't do that. I'm poor, so I'm still probably going to use them, even though they're rusty. Uh, let's open these up real quick, and I'll show you uh basically how to rig these things it's extremely simple there's a variety of different ways that you can rig these baits and uh there's a million different ways you can rig them you can use them as trailers they're they're just you know a great bait for everything just like the twister tail really um i like to just hook them the doas i like to get it the hook pointing right through the a and my favorite part about rigging these things is it don't gotta be perfect um that sounded really illiterate. They don't have to be perfect. You can rig them any which way and they're still going to swim straight. Unlike sassy shads, which these things you've got to rig them absolutely perfect. It is a real pain 
threading a hook onto these things. You've got to thread that hook absolutely perfect. If you don't do it 100% perfect, they end up swimming like that. And it's just a pain in the neck. I bought a bunch of sassy shads because um, well, I watched Tim Galati's videos and I know he really kills walleye and stuff on these things. And I just wasn't a big fan of them just because they're such a pain to hook. And then once you re-rig them and re-rig them so many times trying to get that hook straight to get it to swim straight um by then you've you know you you've kind of messed up the whole bait and then it won't swim straight at all because it's got a million holes poked in it and uh and the the hook wobbles around and it's there i find that sassy shads are just kind of a pain and these things it doesn't matter how you rig them they stay upright you can burn them you can jig them is my favorite way is to just bounce them off the bottom but you can reel them in really 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 fast uh, along the top of the water and the paddle tail will on the top of the water just like a buzz bait millions of different ways you can fish these things and uh, i just can't wait to throw them here in western new york i'm telling you i really think that these things are going to be a revolution like the cinco and the super fluke and the tube for me here and the x wrap here in western new york i really think these things are going to be my next revolutionary bait i think they're going to be one of my new they're already my go-to in florida for salt water and i really think these are going to become one of my go-to's here in western new york for smallmouth and walleye as i stated a million times um the other great thing about these hooks is these are the perfect size hook for berkeley gulp minnows now the four inch gulp minnow i don't feel like taking one out because these things smell and get my hands all oily and i'm working with cameras but um these hooks are the perfect size for the four inch berkeley gulp minnow lots of people use gulp minnows again they're a great bait for walleye around here and i've never really found a jig head that I liked for jigging the Berkeley Galt minnow. It's a very effective way to fish it, and I've just not found a jig head that I've liked. You can use, you know, the regular shaky heads, jigs, which is what most people use, but A, they're extremely expensive for some reason, and I like these hooks so much better. I mean, these hooks fit the Berkeley Galt minnow perfectly. I caught a lot of fish on Berkeley Galt minnows in Florida, which not a lot of people use these Berkeley Galt minnows in saltwater. It worked very effectively in saltwater, so um, I'm guessing that these Cal swim baits are going to work extremely effectively in fresh water, just like the Galt minnow works effectively in salt water. They, I get, there must be a similar forage that looks similar to the dace that they have in inshore in South Florida. Yeah, I think glass minnows, I think, are what they are. They look just like the dace that we have here in western New York. So in any event, I'm excited to, uh, to, to use these hooks for Galt minnows as well here in western New York. It's the other key um, about these hooks that I've discovered. These hooks are just... They're awesome, and they're pretty inexpensive. There's a million different brands that make them. They're sort of made specifically for these swim baits, and uh, so they should be pretty easy to order. They're, I think, a, a couple bucks for a whole package like this. They're pretty inexpensive, so I'm going to be ordering these things from now on, and uh, and we'll see how these things work. I think that they're going to be extremely effective. The other bait that I wanted to show you real quick is these. They're basically just a super fluke, but check out the color. <laughs> I don't know if, if Zoom... Super Fluke comes in this color, but I think this color is awesome, and uh, I can't wait to throw these, too. I think this is going to be very effective for pike and stuff in the rivers around here in western New York. That looks just like a white sucker or something, uh, so I'm excited for that as well. So the other bait I'm really excited about is bucktail jigs. Bucktail jigs are a great multi-species lure everywhere, but in Florida, saltwater Bucktail jigs are very high quality and relatively inexpensive. These are a couple bucks. Here in western New York, bucktail jigs run a lot more expensive for some reason, even ones that aren't that great of quality. And uh, these things are great quality, man. Uh, these jigs here in particular, I'm very excited about. Look at the colors on that thing. Cannot wait to throw these things for walleye. You can see on the picture, there's a, there's a snook. These are meant for snook, but I think they're gonna be extremely effective for smallmouth walleye and all that good stuff here in western New York. And I caught a lot of things on these things besides just snook. I caught look down, jacks, a big redfish. So this is an extremely effective jig in Florida, and I think it's going to be an extremely effective jig in the freshwater here. This isn't like actual bucktail material. This is like some kind of nylon. It's very, very durable. And uh, yeah, these jigs are great. Can't wait to use them. Here's just another bucktail jig. I mean, these are just a couple bucks at Walmart. The other big revelation I had is musky lures. And I sort of hate to say this because I know that there's a lot of tackle shops around here, local shops that have big musky sections and they sell a lot of musky lures that are made locally. And so I'm still going to try and support, you know, the local lure makers when I can. But $20 for a jerkbait is just ridiculous. And I don't know, most of the, the musky lures here in Western New York are, are literally $20 or more 
for just a, a simple jerk bait or a simple bucktail jig. Bucktail jigs, musky and pike size bucktail jigs are so expensive here in Western New York. Guys, this is four bucks. These lures right here, four dollars before I left Florida. And look at the colors. Those things are going to be awesome for pike and musky. This one too, four dollars. It's going to be awesome for pike and musky. Um, and these things, this thing was, I believe, I think, this was, I think, four or five bucks. And I believe this one was like seven or eight. Seven or eight bucks for this giant jerkbait thing. I don't, I don't know. It's some kind of like deep dive. I don't know. This thing's going to be killer for musky. I know that. I don't know what it's meant for in Florida. It's meant for fishing for something. But something in salt water. But I think it's going to be phenomenal here. Uh, this is something that you control. It looks like it's something that you can jerk to. I can't wait to use this thing and see what kind of musky we can catch on it. Musky big pike. But got a bunch of these jerk baits too. This is just one of them. Yeah, man, I'm just gonna be shopping in the saltwater section for now. From now on, whenever I need a new musky bait, uh, no more paying twenty dollars. These things are just a couple bucks too. I believe these are like four or five dollars. Check it out. It even comes with a little uh, twister tail attached to it. And uh, this is big and heavy. This is gonna be really good. And current, these ones are uh, like below the Kinzu Dam. I can't wait to throw. They don't even make things like this in Western New York with you know lead heads that are that big and heavy. Uh, so I think this is going to be great for getting in that current underneath dams and jigging up those big giant musky. I cannot wait to use these things. I don't know what the, I'm guessing they're used for like jigging offshore into the reefs or something for big predator fish in Florida. But uh, I think there's going to be extremely effective musky lures too. So I'm excited for them. This is just another spoon thing for snook. And uh, one of these spoons would be very, very expensive in western New York. In Florida, I believe this is two or three bucks. So... Um, so yeah, <laughs> these are the lures that I'm excited to use. I pretty much showed you guys everything. Definitely, I mean, if you're looking for budget musky gear, go online and uh, look at saltwater stuff. Never, if you're looking for a bucktail jig for musky, never type in like musky bucktail. Type in snook bucktail. I'm telling you, snook bucktail jigs are, uh, are so much less expensive than the musky one. I don't know why. I guess it's just because snook fishing is such a bigger thing down in Florida, uh, or just on the coast in general, that they can mass produce these things down there, and up here they're, they're handmade or something. I don't know. All I know is I paid $4 for a really quality bucktail jig, and uh, and you can order bucktail jigs online for Snook too, and if you order a bucktail jig for Muskie online, you're looking at paying, you know, 12 to $20, where for Snook you're looking at like 4 bucks for a quality bucktail jig, a uh, big quality bucktail jig that's going to work just as well for musky. So that's what I discovered in Florida. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you hopefully on the water catching some big old fish on these saltwater baits here in western New York.